how to learn biochemistry cycles more efficiently the enzymes the rate limiting steps it's exhaustive yeah, at least for me as a student it was exhaustive and how will you tell to a future aspirant or a first year student how to learn it more efficiently sir this is a question of every medical student true whether it is important to learn the structure whether it is important important to learn entire part to interrupt like not just student after <laughs> leaving away from student life for 10 years still it's a question for me it's a burning question look for the medical student or clinical biochemistry it is not important to learn the structure of a compound so you forgot the structure completely there is no need to remember any structure okay few structures are there for example cholesterol and lipoprotein structures are there and the pathway pathway is very very important for example uh, if there is question on urea cycle disorder so there is need of learning the all five important enzymes in the urea cycle true okay if there is phenyl ketone urea you need to know the enzyme which is defective there and what is the basic behind the mousy order of urine so you need to learn the basic thing the biochemistry learning it should be integrated in between biochemistry in between the first year subjects in between the uh, the vertical integration means the um, clinical subject pediatric medicine it should be in the integrated way if you uh, studied the subject in the integrated way it is more easy to remember for example i will give you the one example of integrated way in the subject suppose the class of en- enzyme the ec number means second class of enzyme is trans- transferes example is transaminase that is sgot and sgpt which is frequently we do in our laboratory now for the transamination reaction which coenzyme is required pyridoxal phosphate is required now which type of anemia is there in the pyridoxal phosphate deficiency or vitamin b6 deficiency it is microcytic anemia if you know the causes of microcytic anemia you should know the causes of macrocytic anemia as well so there are three causes for macrocytic anemia b12 deficiency folic acid deficiency and orotic aciduria is there so in that way integrated way should be there and to remember the steps the revision is most important thing if you don't revise the subject it is volatile subject it is for the student it is for the faculty also